Hi friends, it's Jessie. Good to see you. I'm going to read a few more stories from Frog and Toad. This one is called A Swim. Toad and Frog went down to the river. What a day for a swim, said Frog. Yes, said Toad. I will go behind these rocks and put on my bathing suit. I don't wear a bathing suit, said Frog. Well, I do, said Toad. After I put on my bathing suit, you must not look at me until I get into the water. Why not? asked Frog. Because I look funny in my bathing suit, said Toad. That is why. Frog closed his eyes when Toad came out from behind the rocks. Toad was wearing his bathing suit. Don't peek, he said. Frog and Toad jumped into the water. They swam all afternoon. Frog swam fast and made big splashes. Toad swam slowly and made smaller splashes. A turtle came along the riverbank. Frog, tell that turtle to go away, said Toad. I do not want him to see me in my bathing suit when I come out of the river. Frog swam over to the turtle. Turtle, said Frog, you will have to go away. Why should I, asked the turtle. Because Toad thinks that he looks funny in his bathing suit, and he does not want you to see him, said Frog. Some lizards were sitting nearby. Does Toad really look funny in his bathing suit, they asked. A snake crawled out of the grass. If Toad looks funny in his bathing suit, said the snake, then I, for one, want to see him. We want to see him too, said two dragonflies. Me too, said a field mouse. I have not seen anything funny in a long, long time. Frog swam back to Toad. I am sorry, Toad. Everyone wants to see how you will look. Then I will stay right here until they go away, said Toad. The turtle and the lizards and the snake and the dragonflies and the field mouse all sat on the riverbank. They waited for Toad to come out of the water. Please, cried Frog, please go away. But no one went away. Toad was getting colder and colder. He was beginning to shiver and sneeze. I will have to come out of the water, said Toad. I am catching a cold. Toad climbed out of the river. The water dripped out of his bathing suit and onto his feet. The turtle laughed. The lizards laughed. The snake laughed. The field mouse laughed. And Frog laughed. What are you laughing at, Frog? said Toad. I am laughing at you, Toad, said Frog, because you do look funny in your bathing suit. Of course I do, said Toad. Then he went, he picked up his clothes and went home. The end. That's really good. The letter. Toad was sitting on his front porch. Frog came along and said, What is the matter, Toad? You are looking sad. Yes, said Toad, this is my sad time of day. It is the time when I wait for the mail to come. It always makes me very unhappy. Why is that, asked Frog. Because I never get any mail, said Toad. Not ever, asked Frog. No, never, said Toad. No one has ever sent me a letter. Every day my mailbox is empty. That is why waiting for the mail is a sad time for me. Frog and Toad sat on the porch, feeling sad together. Then Frog said, I have to go home now, Toad. There is something that I must do. Frog hurried home. He found a pencil and a piece of paper. He wrote on the paper. He put the paper in an envelope. 
on the envelope, he wrote, a letter for Toad. Frog ran out of his house. He saw a snail that he knew. Snail, said Frog, please take this letter to Toad's house and put it in his mailbox. Sure, said the snail, right away. Then Frog ran back to Toad's house. Toad was in bed, taking a nap. Toad, said Frog, I think you should get up and wait for the snail, the mail some more. No, said Toad, I am tired of waiting for the mail. Frog looked out of the window at Toad's mailbox. The snail was not there yet. Toad, said Frog, you never know when someone may send you a letter. No, no, said Toad, I do not think anyone will ever send me a letter. Frog looked out of the window. The snail was not there yet. But Toad, said Frog, someone may send you a letter today. Don't be silly, said Toad. No one has ever sent me a letter before, and no one will send me a letter today. Frog looked out of the window. The snail was still not there. Frog, why do you keep looking out of the window? asked Toad. Because now I am waiting for the mail, said Frog. But there will not be any, said Toad. Oh, yes, there will, said Frog, because I have sent you a letter. You have, said Toad. What did you write in the letter? Frog said, I wrote, Dear Toad, I am glad that you are my best friend. Your best friend, Frog. Oh, said Toad. That makes a very good letter. Then Frog and Toad went out onto the front porch to wait for the mail. They sat there, feeling happy together. Frog and Toad waited a long time. Four days later, the snail got to Toad's house and gave him the letter from the frog. Toad was very pleased to have it. The Thank you for having story time with me. See you next time.